Michelle here from Find Natural Hair and Faith back with another video. I'm gonna make this really really quick. It's just a demonstration of how I blow my hair out with the blow dryer now in like 15 to 20 minutes. It's like amazing. Now I know you guys have seen this hair dryer all around the internet. It's this brush. It is by Revlon and it's it re retails for about $34 on Amazon and it is amazing. I People are spending like $400 and $300 for like the Rev Air. And obviously I have nothing to compare it to because I am not about to drop several hundred dollars on a hair dryer. It's just not that serious for me. However, at $34, I really don't need to because this does an amazing job. And I'm going to show you how I blow my hair out in like no time flat but before I do that can we please take a moment to recognize this absolutely fabulous conditioner that I am probably late to the party at however that didn't even make sense let's just take a moment to recognize this fabulous conditioner that I have discovered and it is like my new favorite rinse out conditioner it is by Aussie Moist. Now it's not the regular one, it's the Miracle Moist with avocado and Australian jojoba oil. Can we just say that this right here, oh my god, this rivals my favorite Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. As far as drugstore conditioners go, the, the slip, oh my goodness, the slip. I conditioned my hair and I did a sort of a henna gloss and my hair was not as soft as it normally is because you know henna can kind of mimic a protein treatment. However, applying this, I'm able to like glide my hands through my hair. I use gloves and it's just, it, this is just so freaking amazing. I'm glad that they had like a bigger bottle versus, you know, the regular skinny bottles that they sell for like $3. I got this from Family Dollar for like $4.50. Now, what you've all been waiting for. First off, I've been air drying my hair. I am going to start in the back since this actually has been pretty loose. I have a lot of my natural curl pattern here. I'm going to split it in half. Because I have lower density hair, it will take me no time flat to stretch my hair out. I'm not going to straighten it and I've already applied products but I don't need to use as small sections as most people because I don't have a lot of density. I have moderate density hair. I applied my products already through my hair, my leave-in conditioner, my oil and I used the Eden Body Works hair serum with marshmallow root in it and it really just helps to tame frizz. This hair is almost like it's almost dry. It's damp. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the dryer on cool and I'm going to leave it on cool because on this particular model, I find that it's actually a little bit just warm. It's not cool like cold air. It's sort of a warm air and that's all I'm going for. I don't want heat damage and I don't use heat protectant because I don't feel the need to use it when using the dryer on just a slight warm. It's just like kind of just blowing the excess air out of my hair but because of the way the airflow is going it really does stretch my hair amazingly so. And I think that fine natural hair is easier stretched than other hair textures. So I'm going to let you hear what this dryer sounds like. It's kind of loud, but it doesn't bother me at all. Like, hair dryers aren't meant to be quiet. Um, and then I'm gonna switch over to voiceover so that I can give you some commentary on while I'm, you know, drying my hair. So as you can see, I hold the ends of my hair while I'm running the dryer from the top to the bottom. And then I concentrate that air on my ends while also holding. I like to hold the dryer at the roots of my hair for a little bit to eliminate some of the extra water that is there. And then I'm just very careful to run this dryer down my strands without ripping my hair through. And let me just say, this process is also kind of therapeutic. Like running this warm dryer down my hair, it actually feels really good, especially when I allow the bristles to kind of rub against my scalp a little bit. But anyway, I digress. 
as you can see here i am only letting the brush go from my roots to about the center of my hair shaft because i don't want to rip my ends Once I have stretched my hair enough, then I focus on the ends and I'm very careful to use the brush to sort of detangle without ripping the hair. And then I'm gonna run the dryer through just a little bit more to make sure that I've got the stretch that I'm going for. And here's a view from the back of me stretching with the dryer, focusing on my roots and smoothing them. my roots with a little bit of air one more time because it's still a little bit damp this is how I do it not actually running the dryer through my hair but just letting the air flow now what you see here is just blown out hair I don't want it any straighter than this I'm actually going to do a twist out and I do need for my hair to have more volume so I don't want to make it like too too straight because when I do the twist then it'll be kind of like limp and frumpy and when I'm done with a section I like to join it with the other section and then I'm going to take it and clip it out of the way and do this back section so that's this side. Actually, I'm gonna do this front section so you can see what it looks like. So this is still kind of actually really wet since I had it pinned up. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna switch this to the low setting and then switch it back to the cool after I've gotten some of the uh, water out. So working on this front section as you notice because i have more water in my hair and it's a little bit wetter than i would like i'm using the dryer in a pumping motion like a pumping up and down just to eliminate that extra water as you can see once the extra water is eliminated then i'll begin to run the dryer down my strand from root to tip Literally, that's all it took to get the excess water out of my hair. Look at that. Now I'm going to put it on the low setting. I mean, on the cool setting. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, the cool setting is actually more of a warmish setting and the low setting is a warmer, hotter setting. And I don't even touch the high setting because that is super, super hot. So basically the settings on this dryer, even though you hear the difference in the sound as the air flows, the airflow is not what determines the setting of low, medium, and high. It's actually the amount of heat that comes out. Okay, so that's this side. I'm going to take this side twist it all together into sort of a little bit of a bantu knot to keep it nice and stretched well not really a bantu knot but you know i'm gonna clip it up separate from the rest of my hair and just let this side be once i'm finished with this side i'll come back and show you all the results and then i'm going to twist my hair leave the twist in for like three or four days and then you know rock me a nice little twist out but yeah this is kind of like my low manipulation regimen even though blow drying is not really low manipulation it's i feel like once the hair is stretched and the twists are in and i don't have to manipulate my hair for days now it's low manipulation you might disagree this is what works for me and um yeah i'm, I'm liking this regimen right now just because it just helps to prevent a lot of tingling 
Okay, so this actually took me about 25 to 30 minutes this time around. I realized that it's better to oscillate between the low and the cool. So the low will take out a little bit more of the water from the hair so that you can, you know, stretch it on the cool setting a little bit faster. The first time I did it, I think I did it all on low. Then I realized, you know, it's probably better to just do it between low and cool. These are my results. Blown out hair that will be you. My earring just came out. <laughs> These are my blown out hair results. I'm probably going to give this method a rest until the winter time because um, we've got about a, maybe about a month more of summer and I think I'm going to switch back to my washing goals for a bit. However, I'm going to stretch my washing goals with a lot of banding so that I don't get that tangling again. All it is for me is that whatever hairstyle I do, I need to minimize the tangling otherwise I will affect my length retention. Whenever you decide to use any form of heat, you will more than likely need to trim your hair a little bit more often, probably because it's going to create some split ends that, I mean, eventually you get split ends anyway, right? But it's going to accelerate the amount of split ends that you get more than likely. Um, don't take my word for that. This is not science. <laughs> it's just my thoughts because fine hair is really, you know, Thin, the circumference is very like you can't even see one of my hairs almost you can, you can almost not even see it but it's there see using heat even though it's cool to warm it could increase the rate of split ends that may require trimming maybe one extra time more than you normally would trim I'm okay with it I'm just to the point now where I'm just trying to reduce the number of tangles I don't care if my hair gets super super long anymore um that was a dream of mine however i have fine hair and even though it can grow really really long there's a price to pay you know there's a price to pay sacrificing styling um sacrificing time and i'm just at the point in my life i don't know if i want to pay that sacrifice stretching my hair with a little bit of heat kind of helps me to get on with my day a bit faster and not have to worry about tangles so you know it's all in what your goals are my goals are changing a little bit if my hair can even grow from so this is stretch if it can grow from here to even here stretched about that much like to, to the titty ball then i'll be happy with that too but over the case i ain't bald headed thank god for that I'm glad that I have some hair on my head. I'm just going to take care of what I have. And that is that. Thanks for watching this video. And I will catch you in the next video. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you using heat on your fine natural hair? Natural hair? Straight hair? Do you use heat at all? And if so, how often? Alright. I will catch you in my next video. Be blessed.